Pokemon is one of my favorite game franchises of all time. It is hard to believe that it's been 20 years since it came out. There are so many great memories of Pokemon that it has pretty much changed my life. And I'm always excited for what's next to come. So I wanted to make a top 5 video in no particular order of things that I want to see in the next generation of the Pokemon main series games. Number 1. No more HMs. For those of you watching this video, I assume that you already know about HMs so I won't waste your time explaining them. A solution I have to this is to simply get rid of the HMs and replacing them with key items. For example, if you want to use Cut, you can have some head shears as one of your key items. You can have a flashlight instead of using flash. You can have a hammer instead of using rock smash. A climbing axe instead of rock climb. A surfboard for surf. This can really work and it makes much more sense. The only HM that I'm having trouble is fly. Maybe a propeller hat? I don't know, give me some ideas with these HMs. Number 2. A better rival, a dangerous team, and a great story. I put these three together because I want the same thing from them. Satisfaction after beating them. First of all, the rival. I want the rival to be someone who is hard to beat. They can be the meanest person that it gets you angry and just want to beat them up. When you finally beat your rival, I want them to admit defeat. Or your rival could be somewhat of a teacher or a great friend who is much better and more experienced than you. For every battle you both do, it's just them going easy on you. And when you finally get to that final battle, they go all out on you and you can show them how far you have gotten. As for the evil team, I want them to be the most brutal organization ever. Not something like take over the world, but something that they do that affects you and the people around you. As you travel the region, you see people from different cities who need help recovering from the damages that the team has been doing. Or you could do little missions like returning stolen Pokemon or battling some other members from taking over a small town. It would be awesome for the final encounter to go to their HQ and help rescue someone such as your friend you're close to or a family member or a pet Pokemon you have at home. That will definitely give a lot more satisfaction once they are defeated. Number 3. More Multiplayer Interactions Yes, there's the player search system, but all that does is battle and trade Pokemon, which is pretty much what Pokemon is. But there should be more things you can do with your friend. The best examples I could give are Pokeathlon and Pokemon Stadium. Both of these things have really fun minigames with different ways to play. That alone can have many people coming back. Number 4. A better GTS We all gotta face it, the GTS needs a lot of improvements. To start off, they really need to fix what Pokemon people want because the Pokemon they want is ridiculous. Once that is out of the way, we should have the option to see the summary of the Pokemon. We should see the moves, the ability, the stats, and how it was caught to prevent obtaining hacked Pokemon. Also, people are liars. When you offer a Pokemon, you can send a short message and most of them say that the Pokemon they are offering has its hidden ability, but no, they don't. Number 5. Pokemon with good designs. There are strong Pokemon and weak Pokemon, but in the end, it's the Pokemon we think that looks really cool that we get attached to the most. Let's look at the starters. For example, Gen 5, I would choose any starter except for Tepig. Personally, I think Tepe looks awesome, but once it evolves, I really don't want to use it anymore. Just look at Generation 6 when the evolutions were revealed. Everyone was mad at Quilladin's design and it lost its popularity. A lot of us care how the Pokemon looks. Whenever there's a good design, it gets popular and whenever we see a bad design, everyone gets mad and says that Game Freak is running out of ideas. So there you have it, a top 5 of my ideas that I would like to see in the next generation of Pokemon. I know that these ideas won't happen, but it's always nice to share them. Let me know if there are some ideas that you would like to be added or any changes that you would like to be made. Also tell me what key items you would think of to replace the HMs. That is an interesting topic that I would like to see more of. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.